Good day, everyone. My name is Anna. Welcome to Cactus Caffeine. Welcome May and welcome spring. So it is May and let us see what flowers I have blooming this start of the month. So I did my April blooming video and if you can remember during April I had mostly pinks, <laughs> pinks and whites in my flowers. But this time as you can see I have the yellows coming in hot and pretty. So let us start off in this section. So this is a Sulcorebusha Raushi Viola Sidermis. This cactus, I love this. It is so beautiful with its purple color. Now there's two buds here that has opened. The flowers are actually squished. So they formed a deep in there so they couldn't fully open because of all these offsets in here. But it has a purple body and it has a beautiful purple flowers as well. But I just love this Mamillaria. Its flowers are so beautiful. And then here is my, what I believe is, correct me if I'm wrong, Mamillaria pro prolifera, I believe is the name of this. It doesn't, uh, it did not come with a name when I got it. But uh, I am guessing that is the name of that. And look at this yellow lobivia. This one, I'm so proud of this. I grew this from seed. This is the second year that it's been blooming. It uh, bloomed pretty early for me. And what is so interesting about this flower is the mother plant that this, the seeds of this came from, it was a lobivia with purple flowers. Would you believe that? Purple pinkish flowers like magenta. But when I saw the seeds and this came up, this one came with a yellow flower. I don't know how it got the yellow flower because I have no other lobivia that has a yellow flower. When a seed grew, it produced a yellow flower. See, those are the surprises that you get when you grow your own cactus from seed. Sometimes you get a crested one. Sometimes you get variegated ones or sometimes you get a surprise when it flowers <laughs> and then here is another unknown mamillaria but it blooms so prolific and then here i have some parodias um ubel ubelman ubelmanianus okay so i have so i have three in here but somehow they all look different from each other though when i bought them they all came with the same name this is very spiny as you can see long spines this has curved spines that one is almost enormous <laughs> and um the flowers this one has pointy petals this one has more rounded petals this one has no buds <laughs> i don't know what's going on with this one but yep that's my uh, Parodia or Noto Cactus Ubelmania. And then I have a teeny cute Rebusha here. Nice red orange color. Let's see, it is Rebusha Canaletas KK1565. So this was given to me by um, Brian of Puerto Rico. He grew this from seeds. So, Brian, look, it is blooming, and more buds are on the way. And then moving on to more bright yellow flowers, Mamillaria spherica. Wow, another Mamillaria that produces very big flowers. Usually, Mamillarias form small flowers like this. See, small flowers and this one. But from time to time, you will find a Mamillaria with large flowers like this one, Mamillaria spherica. So if you can find this, I highly recommend it and this is already the second day that these are open okay and then moving on all these are Mamillaria Bocasana Rosiflora this is the mother plant this produced fruits I harvested the seeds from the fruits and then I sowed them these are all the babies so cute mommies and babies all blooming at the same time and then this very large one this is an Echinocereus pentalophus. Nice. Big flowers. Third day. This is the third day that it opened. There's actually more buds there. I, how I wish that they all, you know, open up. 
at the same time would have been a show but i am happy with this one for now big flower okay, so like i said our spring weather here in vegas started rather late so i have a lot of my cacti that are still in early stages of bud development my echinopsis my trichocereus they're all just beginning to form their buds and um i actually have a trip upcoming so i will be away for more than a month guys so i am sad because i'm afraid i will miss out seeing a lot of my cacti in flower especially the echinopsis and the trichocereus also at the same time i'm excited because actually i'm going back to the philippines to see my family and i'm so excited because i haven't seen them in years <laughs> so i'm excited to see them but at the same time I am bummed because I know I will be missing out a lot of my cacti flowers. Here in my garden, I have my Echinopsis candy cans, which is in huge bud. I think this bud will open tonight. It's been uh, forming for uh, weeks now but i think tonight is the night and nope this does not have a red flower when it actually opens it will be pure white very big pure white flower i measured this bud it is eight inches long the flower of this is really almost as big as the trichocereus flying saucer if not as big as that one i am looking forward to this this is a night bloomer very fragrant so later on tonight we will be checking back on this bud wow this one is actually starting to unfold this is an echinopsis mirabilis so from a very big cactus and a very large flower now we go to a very teeny tiny cactus this is an echinopsis mirabilis and like most of the night bloomers this is also very fragrant if you can just smell it guys it is so fragrant and um this is actually a seedling that i sowed myself and the seeds came from the mother plant this is the mother plant beside it so this is the mommy plant this is the seedling i believe the seedling is about three years old it flowers at a very young age about three years old the only thing is the seeds takes a very long time to germinate at least for me in my experience i sowed the seeds twice already two batches i sowed them on different dates both of them the seeds um germinated after six months <laughs> both of them six months so this is the first a batch that I sewed and as you can see behind here there's a teeny tiny one I think this is from the second batch also this one the mother plant it has two babies right here so this is from the second batch of seeds that I sewed and all the seeds came from this mother echinopsis mirabilis it is now 8 o'clock p.m guys and here is the echinopsis halfway open now here is the echinopsis mirabil is now fully open at 8 30 p.m so this is uh, really a night bloomer and by morning usually when i wake up this is already done <laughs> it is just a one night bloomer but look it is so pretty it looks like um little sparklers so from the side see not all the petals um open flat so it looks like a little pom-pom or a little fireworks so beautiful and it is so fragrant i just wish you guys can smell this at 11 o'clock at night the flower is now fully open it is a little windy today so the petals look a little beat up but it's a huge fragrant flower i measured it it's seven and a half inches across
Good morning everyone. Today is my day off so I finally got to see my flowers myself. The past few days it was my husband who was doing the filming and I am so thankful that he did that for me and he was able to capture my flowers when I am at work. So here are the flowers for today. My mamelias are still flowering for a month now. This is the Zilmanyana. This is a uh, Mammillaria prolifera and then the smallest cactus in the world Blasphelia lilliputana is also in flower it, is, it doesn't look very small because this one is grafted but um, on its own roots this grows very very slow and I think I would have to degraft this this year. I've had some offsets and I've grafted them, but I think this mother plant needs to be degrafted because my rootstock is not looking good. This is a dragon fruit rootstock and it's really a weak rootstock for me. It doesn't last very long. This has been the third year that it is grafted on this and I think it's about time for me to change this because it is so thin despite me watering it it won't rehydrate anymore so after the flowers are done I will be degrafting this on a stronger rootstock okay more mammillaria here and look at this one my Echinocereus pulchellus is super blooming pretty wow every year this does a super bloom for me and the flowers are big relative to the cactus itself can't really see the cactus right now but so beautiful and then my rebutia orange rebutia this rebutias are uh, the ones that was given to me by brian from Air, um from puerto rico so brian here they are now I think this has been two years that it's with me the orange are the first ones to flower here's another rebutia here this is rebutia fulvicetta just the first flower to open but lots more buds on the way and then i told you at the start of this month my may flowers were usually pink now the yellows are joining the show See, that's a yellow parodia. This is Echinopsis leucomalia cob. And this is another parodia otonis. After two hours more, the one bud finally opened actually today too. So now I have a perfect crown of flowers. Here is a surprise to me, first time bloomer, wow. This is a Cylindropuntia, I don't know what type of Cylindropuntia it is. If you guys know, please comment below this video, that's how the cactus looks like. First time blooming and I did not expect the flower to be this big. I've seen some Cylindropuntia flowers and they're quite small, but this one is uh, big. Wow, that's beautiful. So anyway guys, this has been a long video and um, I actually have another video featuring all the Trichocereus and Echinopsis that have bloomed so far in my collection but I will be doing a separate video for that. So watch out and subscribe to this channel. Make sure your bell notifications are on so you know when that video is uploaded. So until next time guys, bye everyone. Thanks for watching and cheers